Hello guys, so I'm going to show you today how to add third party plugins such as Syntronic into the NKS system and just how to save presets and things so you can quickly draw those up and get them working in NKS. Um, you guys have seen recently how I work and I can just hit the browse button and I've got some presets set up for third party instruments uh, ready to roll. And I just want you guys to know how to do that as well because it's relatively easy to do, but it doesn't seem to be something that's um, particularly talked about or even has that much information on. Uh, it's just something I figured out through playing with NKS. So the first thing we need to do if we're on OS X or Windows is launch the uh, complete control standalone plugin. Now for me that's buried in here and it looks like this. We're going to launch that and that's automatically going to scan the AUs, VSTs, uh, whatever plugin types you happen to be using with your DAW. Um, it'd be AAX for example if you're running Pro Tools as well. And we just have to let that scan through and figure out what it's working with you can see here it is scanning all the ones and it's going to flag a couple up because I haven't got the right eye lock in at the moment but we're going to skip through all of that what's important is is, the, is that there we go is that you let it scan and uh, detect all these plugins beautiful so we see now it's scanned my plugin database and loaded up and what's important is that you can see in here the plugins that you're after having introduced so you see, for example, it's got Waves, Codex, uh, Rhapsody, my UHE plugins, and for example, Syntronic. And we can load that here in the standalone one. Now, once you've done this in the standalone, the plugin version, the AU version that I use, reads the database from this standalone. So if we now close out of this, we can com quit complete control, and we're going to launch a logic session. So now you see that I've got complete control loaded up inside a logic session. Now, by default, it's never going to see these individual plugins. What we need to do is click on the little down arrow here and go to the plugin and then choose it. We can then choose Syntronic. And let's, for example, say I really want this uh, big hall lead. I've decided that's a preset I love and I want to use it every single time. So we need to go into here again and we're then able to save as from here. Now I can call this the J8 Big Hall Lead and let's bracket Syntronic so I know what it is. If we save that. Now if I now hit browse on my NKS keyboard and you see right at the top here, you've got a little thing that changes between library types. If you click in on this, it will change. So the little person icon highlights, you see that? And now here are all of my presets that I've saved. So I could scroll down and take Syntronic and it's gonna give me my default. Or well, now I just made this J8 big hall lead and I can load that back up. Now I've also got some others. For example, above I've got my Hive Super Saw. And this just allows me to flick through things that I normally wouldn't be able to inside uh, the NKS system. And I've got obviously a bunch of other presets that I've made at some point. For some reason, some of them have duplicated over time. I don't entirely know why and hey it doesn't cause me a massive problem but I can uh, load up pretty much anyone that I want and it's as simple as that you can also then give them uh, further information as well so you can let them know what types they are so if I go base here my uh, deep Reese and the deep Reese unders they show up as bases I haven't done that for the most part I don't find it necessary but it is an option you can add that uh, extra data in if you so need and that's is, that is essentially it that's how we get third-party plugins loaded up and you can save the presets now what else you can do is also link them let's get Syntronic back up let's take that lead again Now, as you're aware, you've also got parameters. 
that should be linkable. I think Syntronic's going to be a bad example here. It appears we can't link any of the controls. So let's take Hive again. Brilliant. So you see on Hive, it's auto mapped to most of the controls as well. So they are already in there. However, you can also map them yourself. Um, you've got hundreds of pages where they're all linked up. But let's say I just want this one to be, I don't know, the cutoff of here. Well, we can un we can unlock it here and we can set this to be allocated to this and that is now going to be the filter cutoff we can lock that again and we'll see that that now controls our filter cutoff here uh, it would appear in Syntronic we can't actually link those together which is a shame uh, if I figure out how to do that I will do another video and show you how to link parameters via Syntronic but for the most part it just works with the other synths even if I load Goliath they're automatically linked across the top there uh, that's it guys simple as that if the video was helpful for you please bash a like on the video hey subscribe to the channel if you've got any more questions throw a comment down below and I will see you on the next one